all the volatility that we saw just from last night to today in Bitcoin, is it because of El Salvador or is something else going on? Well, if I had a Bitcoin for every time somebody brought up volatility in the middle of great news, I would have more than Satoshi at this point. Uh, <laughs> volatility means nothing to an asset that is here for long term. If you have a low time preference, if you're thinking about Bitcoin as a new money system, this means nothing. Uh, at the same time, the price was going down. McDonald's has started accepting Bitcoin in El Salvador. El Salvador has purchased uh, 550 Bitcoins total for their reserves. All of these great things happening, and we're talking about the volatility of one day. I can guarantee you, uh, if you look back at my last times of being on here, we talked about the same thing, and the price has tripled since then. So volatility means nothing on a long enough time preference. Well, I'm curious if you're, what your thoughts are, what's happening in El Salvador. Do you think this is a, a good beta test for other countries, in particular Latin America, and that could adopt uh, Bitcoin as currency? Absolutely. And we're already seeing it. We saw today uh, the, uh, in Panama, they are actually uh, uh, approaching their Congress for the same thing. Paraguay, Uruguay, other countries who may have been shut out of the financial system uh, can all join the Bitcoin network because nobody can stop them. So I think this is just the beginning of an avalanche of countries who will do the same thing. Uh, no longer can you tell a person or a country that they cannot have a financial <laughs> uh, market or a financial uh, protocol. Bitcoin is there to solve that, and I think it started today. Happy Bitcoin Day, by the way. Uh, oh, happy Bitcoin. Okay, yeah. Well, you know, it's definitely, again, it's, this is the first country ever to adopt Bitcoin. It is a historic move, and certainly there's been a lot of doubters, as you mentioned at the top of the segment, when it comes to Bitcoin and cryptos. What do you say to someone watching who's still a little bit leery when it comes to anything cryptocurrency or Bitcoin or Coinbase or any of these investments? And obviously the underlying technology has been a huge hit for mainstream investors. But what do you say to that doubter out there that maybe still doesn't understand exactly how this currency could be viable when it doesn't have, um, say, the Federal Reserve behind it, doesn't have a government behind it? Unless you're in El Salvador. <laughs> Take that back. Go ahead. <laughs> well, uh, in the words of Satoshi, if you don't get it at this point, I can't help you. Uh, we went from an obscure <laughs> protocol that was called rat poison, that was called, you know, collectibles, that was called a Ponzi scheme, it's for criminals, it's for shadowy coders, all the way to a nation state using it as a currency. Never in the history of your life or your parents or your grandparents' life have they seen a new legal tender be created from scratch. So if you're still leery at this point, just stay out. Don't even buy it. Stay out and just watch us uh, create an entire new money market without you.